Welcome to the Viva Network Training Course. Our focus today is on network local fundraising. If Viva partner networks are to survive and maintain momentum, they have to raise funds locally. All Viva networks already have a support base of churches, organizations, and individuals who are supporting the work of the network through contributing their time, volunteering, giving their venues, and also sharing their expertise for trainings. The first step then is to record these gifts and attribute a monetary value to them using Viva's Gifts in Kind Register. This will help you to see and acknowledge the support you already have. In fact, when you start adding in all in-kind support together, we expect you'll find that the value of the in-kind support is greater than the total financial income. At the same time, we must also be looking for local financial support. Each Viva Partner Network needs urgent and sustained work to raise funds locally. This has become such a pressing need that our consultants have revised their consultancy plans in order to build in detailed training, ongoing support, monitoring and evaluation for each network under their care. Local fundraising should become an integral part of the consultancy cycle. The world has changed. International funding is less and less available. Our partner networks are facing life or death situation and the change in approach is urgently needed through new relationship building and proactive fundraising. Networks are challenged to raise funds themselves and you must see fundraising as part of your essential every week activity. Network and program development will not happen if fundraising is not given priority. Essentially, in order to be sustainable, each network must be able to raise basic running costs to cover the costs of office space, staff salaries, and travel and communication costs, so that if all external funding ran out, the network would not be forced to stop operating. It needs to be able to ensure it can continue to run basic services without external support. If networks are able to first focus on getting the points on this list in place, they will find that fundraising becomes much easier. Appoint at least one person in the steering group and one in the coordination team as fundraising leaders. Gifts in Kind Register demonstrates the local support you already have. Fundraising Database of Gifts and Communications this should record current supporters and those who the network should target to ask for support and what communication you've had with each group or person. This database should be updated each time you have contact with the supporter. Fundraising strategy with identification of potential investing partners. This should outline how you will maintain, support and engage new supporters. Fundraising plan. This is a step-by-step -step plan of how many people you will contact each month, how you will follow up any fundraising campaigns you might run to achieve your strategy. This can also include funding proposals to government or businesses. Communication plan. This is the plan of communications such as newsletters, annual reports, and social media to keep supporters up to date and engage new supporters. Initially, networks should use these tools to target raising 10% of its funding from within its country. With all fundraising, you must remain accountable to the donor. Regular monitoring and evaluation of progress is essential. So you can report back to supporters on what their donations have helped to achieve. This will also motivate them to keep giving or even to increase the amount they give. Viva is committed to supporting growth in local fundraising and providing training to help you with this. We've produced a fundraising training guide that you can access and are on hand to offer support and advice. Here is a network local fundraising checklist for you to consider. Do you have a fundraising strategy with identification of potential investing partners? 
Do you have a fundraising database of gifts and communications in place? Do you have a fundraising plan with a focus of raising in-country funds such that necessary running costs, coordinator's salary, office rent, travel and communication costs are covered through regular local funding? Does your network have in-country funding greater than 10% of network funds? Does your network have in-kind funding greater than monetary funding? Do you have a monitoring and evaluation plan with timely reports to donors? I encourage you to spend more time in fundraising. Viva Consultants will help you plan and implement your fundraising activities. Wishing you every success in your fundraising efforts.